Incidentally, today, well, yesterday, now I'm doing this the next day, early morning, is the 20 year anniversary. The same day Goldberg debuted and Stone Cold Steve Austin gave McMahon his first stunner. Looking back now, I was in kindergarten at the time, so I started watching wrestling just in my stupid chair around 99, so cool stuff. But I don't know if I can include a clip of that in here or not. It'd be cool. I'm going to try to check out both episodes on the network. They occurred the same day, so it'd be kind of cool to review both the Raw and Nitro that day. I believe there's a segment where Flair comes out, or excuse me, Hogan comes out in Ric Flair's robe and Bischoff's kissing his ass, as usual. Again, there's a plethora of stuff on the network I'm going to be doing, try to do as many review shows as I can, but some brand members, I'm thinking mostly Retro Shred maybe, but we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's get to what's stinging me this week. There's a lot. And the first thing probably stinging me is this stupid ticket I got. Me and a friend, I was showing her this leg down by where my grandmother just moved out of, and we were hanging out. Um, I'm just going to be blunt. She's not that attractive. I'm sorry. She's into me, but I'm not into her. With the paint on, or without the paint, she thinks I'm attractive. I haven't asked her if Sting Nick is attractive. But yeah, I'm not. So we were after hours in a park. And a cop comes up, lights flashing. I didn't even know it was a cop. I hardly see park rangers at this park. And lo and behold, uh, we both get two tickets. He comes up to us. He says uh, something like, "You got? what are you guys doing here? I'm like, oh, is the park closed? Oh, if you have to ask, what do you think? I'm like, okay. And he's probably thinking, am I doing drugs or smoking? I don't do any of that. I'm not like CM Punk straight edge, but I just don't do it because I just, I'm, not a boring guy, I just don't feel the need. So, he has us, you know, keep your hands out of your pocket, sit up against your car, and he writes us tickets, and I find out, I thought I could pay online, but I try and it failed, and then she calls the court clerk, my friend, and it's court mandatory. It's about 45 minutes away, an hour, so I'm not looking forward to that. And then they send me a legal notice about five days later saying it's been changed to a different date but it looks like the same date that they gave me on the ticket so I don't know if they're trying to throw me off confuse me I don't know the other thing that's stinging me is uh, my girlfriend she moved away in March to Florida and I've been single ever since and the moment I found out she was leaving I knew I was gonna be miserable and I was right <laughs> it's been tough uh, I don't know yeah, I know. I uh, sound like I'm an airplane pilot. Uh, this is Broken Stinger. Uh, we're flying over Margaritaville. Uh, God help us. No. Um, so, yeah, she moved, and the moment I found out the news, she was fighting with her aunt. I knew it was going to suck, and it has. And I thought she was going to stay in contact with me, but uh, about a week later, after I kind of texted her and whatnot, she decided to start acting differently, and her friends got in her head. And all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy, long story short, so... Not the same relationship, so... A girlfriend helps when you're battling depression. And other issues, so... But, I guess that's life. You lose things, you gain things, and... The only thing that's for sure is nothing's for sure. <laughs> Gotta move on. And... Ooh, the next thing that's stinging me this week, of course... As I just mentioned, hold on one second... Classic. This is a devil's jersey. See this? The stripes on the bottom? This is how it should be. If it's not broke, don't try to fix it. As I'm going to get into in my next segment, i wearing that. I don't know if it's going to be before that or after, depending on the way Chantel ed edits. Hi, Chantel. Love you. Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, so these new jerseys the NHL implemented, I don't know. Playing hockey, I, I need a little room around the collar. They just look tighter around the collar. The old jerseys had like almost like a kind of V-neck kind of feel to it with the NHL patch right here. They just look, I don't know, I'm, not so much that they're horrible looking. They just look uncomfortable for the players. And getting back, I'm pissed off that they, after all these years, they decided to alter the Devils jersey in any way. It's perfect. 
Ranger jersey just get rid of because I hate the Rangers. <laughs> I can't believe they blew those two uh, those two games against the Senators back in uh, the spring. It's a shame I didn't get my show because I would love to cover that back then. But it's I don't get it. It's just looking. I was watching a preseason game yesterday. Rangers Devils and Rangers won, but it's preseason. Who cares? And I'm watching. They look like the Ottawa Senators from the distance. They just don't look. And some of the practice jerseys they had set up in the locker room, like they weren't even jerseys. They were like sticker displays of the new players incoming. It looked like Detroit Red Wing player jerseys. So I'm not a fan of it. I think it's ridiculous. Like I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. The Devils jersey, it's been that way since we switched to the red, black, and white favorite color scheme. Not necessary. That's pissed me off. And, yeah. So that's what's stinging me for this week.